Hey, it's Jason with Lightning Plugins. Today I'm going to talk about my newest plugin, Lightning D Green. It's very simple. There's just one button. And it's for if you shoot on green screen. And this is not for keying. You have to either use the Photoshop tools or use something like PicSnub to do the keying. But a lot of times you will have green spill left over that you can't easily get rid of. I'm going to just put a gray layer here so you can kind of see that there's a lot of green spill on his legs, up on his arm here, in his hair. And if you try some other tricks, like some people say, oh, you can go and select the greens and desaturate them. But even doing that and trying to expand where it goes, it tends to just desaturate it and make it ugly. It doesn't look natural. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to select my layer and press degreen layer. And the plugin is going to do its magic. And if you look here, it has done a pretty good job at restoring those flesh tones and just getting rid of the green spill up in here under his arm and in the hair there. There's that. If you've used something like PicSnub and you still might have some green, PicSnub gives you like a folder that has extracted image. You could just select the whole folder and run the plugin and it would do its magic to that. I find you might actually, I'm going to undo that, get better results if you just open the folder and turn off the PicSnub spill correction. If you turn those off and then run the plugin, it'll be just using our algorithm instead of trying our algorithm on top of what they had already done. I find it gives slightly better results, but it's only slightly, so whichever is easiest for you is probably fine. A lot of people have problems. I'm going to just remove background here with yellows or blues. So I just used the remove background built into Photoshop and it did a pretty good job. You see, obviously there is some green spill still in her hair. I'm just going to run the plugin and it's killed all of that green spill. And if you look, there's maybe a slight change to the yellow. I mean, there's some here where there was green spilling on the edges, but it's done a pretty good job at protecting the yellows. Blue is fine as well, but sometimes you have this like cyan color. And if I run it on that, you are going to see, since there is green in this blue of this shirt, it is going to change the color of the blue a little bit. The easiest way I found to avoid that, you could either paint with black and paint it away from the shirt. And that's pretty easy, pretty quick and easy. You just be careful, you know, if there's green spill, you could do that. Or you could create a hue and saturation layer and just target the blues and then add a little bit of green back in and maybe pump up the saturation a little bit. And that gets us pretty close to what it originally was with just a little bit of tweaking. It does add a few other layers, which I want to showcase. I'm going to double click on this and enter in the selected mask and choose refine hair and see if that does a little bit better job. Okay, but there's still some green. So let's run the plugin. You will, on some images, if the green screen is dark, get this warning that no pixels are more than 50% selected. It's perfectly normal. There's nothing I can do about it the way Photoshop has not given us the ability to disable this, unfortunately, in plugins. So you just have to deal with it. But you just press OK, and it's fine. Don't panic. The plugin has done a pretty good job at getting rid of the um, greens. However, there might be a little bit 
in like reds, redheads and blondes, sometimes they're still just feels like a little bit of green left. There is a lightning despill edges layer, but it does have a black mask. So everything is hidden with this black mask. But if I click in the mask and then use a white brush, I can paint in this and if you look it just adds a little bit of color it decontaminates that edge just a little bit more I'm just gonna paint it in here you do need to be careful with this this is a little more aggressive so if you paint on some other areas it's actually fine on this image but sometimes it will kind of give some little defects in colors to some edges, just depending on your image. I will show one more thing, which is there's one more layer that it creates. It's called Lightning Respill. And if I turn this layer on, you are going to see that I'm going to turn all the Lightning Despill layers off. And this is what the original is and then if I turn these on and turn on this respill you're gonna see it it looks like almost nothing has changed because it's brought the green back in it's actually despilled the image and then respilled the image with green and I know a lot of people are not gonna use this it's just something I wanted to add because I could and in visual effects which is a lot of what I do we often utilize something like this so you might use it but for instance if I was gonna put him in a template that maybe had a bright colored floor or something you can tell that you know if he really was on a green floor you get a lot of green reflection so in theory if he was on a pink floor like this in the real world it would be bouncing up and getting spill so this layer you can just double click it and use the eyedropper and select a color. And now it's actually adding in pink spill where there was green spill. If it's too much, you can change the brightness. You can, you know, paint on the mask. Like it's adding it where there was green in his hair. So I can paint with black on this mask and paint it away. So I'm not putting some pink respill up in his hair. Again, I don't think a lot of people are going to use it. They're going to prefer to just degreen their image and not re-color spill. But it is an option in there if you want to use it. That's pretty much it. It's pretty much one click to degreen your layer and hopefully get better composites when you're doing green screen.